Hello everybody, it's wee Paddy from Cross the Shock and uh, back at you with a, a good video today. Look at this. Look at the size of this box. This is a traditional knife, but this box is one, two, three, four, five, five and a half inches long for a traditional knife. And what is it? It's a queen pocket knife. Now, this knife not only is it beautiful, but it is a sturdy work knife, which is not something we often see in traditional pocket knives. But this knife could take on any job whatsoever uh, without any problems. It has the steel, it has the girth, it has the handle. And uh, you want to see it, don't you? Well, I'm going to show it to you. But first of all, I'm going to show you what make it is. It's a Queen Cutlery Number no. 3 CZ. Now... I believe this was called the Mountain Man. And it comes in, I think there was a few different varieties. One of them had a lock back. This one isn't. This is a, a just a, a proper slip joint. But it's like a Mr. Universe of slip joints. <laughs> so without further ado, it comes in this beautiful box. It comes wrapped in the paper and everything. So this was old new stock. Obviously, Queen are not making in the minute, although I believe there's a, a hint that they might be back. And I believe this one was, um, it was made in Titusville at the old Shatton Morgan, but I could be wrong. Please fill me in because I cannot find one video. There's a video in Russian and it only lasts for a minute. I don't speak any Russian, but there's no other videos of this knife that I can find on tubes. So if anybody knows, Please, please, please let me know down below. I'm really interested. I got this a couple of months ago. I've been trying to find information out on it. I don't possess one of these books. You know the books that give you uh, old knives? I would love to get my hands on one, even if it was an old copy, you know, a couple of years uh, ago. If anybody's got one and is willing to sell it, please let me know. But anyhow, I'll put that up there and I'm going to bring the knife out. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful looking? Really, really beautiful. This is curly zebra wood, which is a hard African wood um, used for carvings and things like that because of the way it, it obviously cuts up being a hard wood. But I want you to notice the fit and finish on this knife. It is immaculate. Immaculate. Look at that blade centering. Blade centre is nearly perfect. It's a little bit to the, the show side. But look at that beautifully inset and pinned queen emblem there on it. Isn't that just lovely? It really is. It's pinned in there. You can see the pins at the end of the wee knife. It's just so well done. Brass pins and liners. Nickel silver bolster lanyard hole and then the most beautiful now this is a good this is a good seven pull um clicks in place no half stop on it you can see etched on the blade you've got queen cutlery number three and that's it i say it doesn't tell you anymore in there it tells you it was made in titusville pa and the steel is d2 so, like I said, this knife has the steel, it has the girth, it has the... I mean, look at this. I, I mean, there's four fingers up the top. Look what's left over. You know, if I want to go right up, up here, there's so much left over. There's another finger there. That would nearly do one of those... You know, the Americans? The Amer it would be great because some of them have six fingers. So I'm told here in the UK. <laughs> but it's a lovely, lovely knife. This wood just has me in... I, I, it's just gorgeous. Curly zebra wood. Look at the grain in that. Isn't that nice? Some sort of blemish. Maybe it's a burl wood. I'm not... I'm not I'm not sure. Again, I can't find out the information on this knife, so I really am asking for any anybody who knows anything about it. But the fit and finish, look how flush that is. It really is. Lifts up lovely, but just goes down, and it's such a positive. Now, if you're cutting, it'll still not cut you. There's enough there that it's not going to cut you here, just how... Look at that. It wants to come back. It doesn't want to cut you. This is gorgeous. Look, the measurements. Let's give you the measurements of it. It is 
oh, let me just get that right to the end there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a quarter inches long, roughly. The blade length is three and three quarters with a cutting edge of three and a half. So, I mean, that's just amazing. And the hand length is four and a half. So I just a just just a mammoth of a slip joint. But yet I would quite happily take this and do any work with it whatsoever with no fear of that closing on me. It's a good strong slip joint. And unless you do something silly, it's never gonna get you. But isn't that just gorgeous? And even though this was made quite a while ago, the lanyard hole, look how well that lanyard hole is done. It is just beautiful. The pins are flush. You can, the transitions, if you'd notice, it's been rounded. The finish, the workmanship in this. This is American workmanship at its best. At its best. It's one of the most beautiful knives that I have ever bought. No, it's not a cheap, it wasn't a cheap knife. Um, I suppose due to the fact that you can't buy them anymore. They're not, you know, they're not for sale in the, in the open market, but this was just a find that I am just over the moon to have in my possession. This will never leave me. So don't be asking, do you want to sell it? I don't. It's gorgeous. <laughs> but it is a work knife. It's not a knife that I'm going to leave sitting in my drawer. I have used it and I will use it. It's D2. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's starting to tarnish a bit now. I haven't cut steaks or anything with it. Don't get me wrong. Corporate boxes and the like. Um, but... I mean, it's just a stunning big knife. Can you imagine sitting around the campfire with that, cutting up your steak and eating your beans? Well, I just, I ask you, what more could you want? Now, I'm going to give you, let's do a wee bit of a measure on the, the blade. I just wanted to see for myself how thick the blade stock is. So, 0 0.10, 0 0.10, oh. Let me just do it again. I just want that. 0 0.10 and we'll get that. So it's 2.7 millimetres. So it's a really good for a... And look, across the back, it's next to nothing. 12 millimetres across the back and that is just under half an inch, 0.49. And the weight of this big boy. I just love the sound of that. I really do love the sound of that. Sorry, I should have been ahead of myself here and had this open. So if, if you have got any information, it's 3.9. You know, that's not bad for a three and a three and three quarter inch blade. That, that's pretty good as far as people are going for modern day knives. I'll give you some comparisons just to put this into perspective of what sort of a work knife it would be. I'll tell you what. Here is a case knife, another traditional. Look at that little case barlow. <laughs> it just doesn't look like it come from anything. The case barlow. Here is my GEC American Jack, which is a substantial knife anyway, which will do any EDC jobs. But look at it compared to the size of that. That just did. The nearest I've got in my collection to what it relates to is there is, that's not a rat two, that's a rat one. So uh, the Rat 1 is maybe, let me just see how much bigger the Rat 1 is, uh, about a quarter of an inch bigger. So, I mean, <laughs> if that doesn't tell you what a, you know what a, a Rat 1 is. I mean, this is just a work knife. This is oh, just an amazing knife. But let me tell you, this will do every bit of the work. But look at you getting not just a G10 or a titanium. Look at that burl wood. That, that, I mean, to me, that's what's got it. That zebra wood is just stunning. It really is on both sides. I love this fa the, the, the fact that that's there. You know, whether it's a, the start of a knot or whatever in it. But it's so well done and matched. People had to go and pick this and then saw, you know cut up the shape and match the woods before they were put on. And how well has the man who done that really earned his wages that day? I, I, I think so. That is just a stunning piece of equipment. I don't know what prices were when they were out. And I mean, again, if anybody knows, please let me know what sort of price range they were in. Um, if you look at it, it's even got a little cutaway for sharpening. Isn't that just, it's everything thought of and it was sharp out of the box. 
completely sharp out of the box. It probably needs, because I have been using it, um, it probably needs a bit of, uh, because it's D2, it is starting to tarnish with just sort of hands and bits on it. So I need a wee bit of flits on it, I think, and that would lift it. But a beautiful knife. So it's a Queen Cutlery number three mountain man, I believe. I believe. So, there you go, folks. I'm going to go and I'll leave you with that beautiful looking knife. I'll let you hear this again. The walk and talk in this is just... Oh, it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. So there you go now. There's the first video of the new year and very many happy returns. Thank you, everybody who's asked my wife. She's at home now. She's been home a couple of days. She's shouting at me, nagging me, throwing things at me. Life is blooming good. Take care. I'm away for a wee cup of tea. All the very best. Paddy's gone. Bye now. Tea time. <laughs>